What's good, Homer Squad? It's your boy, Homer Ziggy. We back here with another reaction, and today we here with Contrast. I need your official mu official AMV. Sorry. Now, that's the name of the title. That don't mean that I need Contrast. I will look now. It don't mean nothing like that. So, get your minds out the good. Or maybe I should get my mind out the good because. It didn't even happen. Whatever. <laughs> Point is, we got some new contrast and such, and and apparently, when I'm looking at the description and such, apparently there's a female feature on this and such, and I don't know why contrast don't do this. Well, he does do it, but he just put it like X X and such. Just put con. Just put the artist featuring a man or featuring another artist, <laughs> like. I don't know why they, I don't know why certain artists always put the X X X thing and such, but it is what it is. But either way, you already know we always gonna show love to contrast because let's face it, without him in the nerdcore and without him putting like a main feature like the AMVs and such, like creativity in the AMVs around where around where it was just only certain parts of certain like action parts of a show or anime and just put it like that it was like that for a little while until when contrast put in his new little dab of flavor in there and plus with a live action too at one point hey shout out to contrast he'll always be a main part in this nerdcore scene so either way we about to check this out make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on all my socials up there and without further ado let's get in the video So he on his EDM slash. Rika, I'm going okay. Sit tight, let me get a scoop from you. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Let's get on. I'm the slut type. Well, how you walking? I be thinking you the thot type. What I like? I'm a fan of the high types. But to be honest, you was looking all of my type. Wait, wait, don't move. Picture perfect, that's proof. Ten time alarm rules. For the night, let's go to the roof. She sounds, she sounds a little, just a little, little bit have like a Korean vibe of her and such. And what can I say? It's, what makes it so fascinated about me about the whole nerdcore and hell, just the whole anime aspect and such, where, I don't know why, and to be honest, it always makes me contrary about why certain cults, certain, well, mostly to me, right? Black people likes the Japanese culture, especially anime based and such. I wonder why that be. I guess since we're since we're both like a minority, it would it would be okay. And this is look. This is all just by my perspective right this is just my perspective so I don't want nobody feeling some type of way when I'm saying this or so cuz let's be honest in a world we live today where if you speak something that is just reminder your opinion people are gonna feel some type of way about it where you didn't even made it supposed to be that big of a thing but I always feel like since because since we're two minorities that most people 
through time and such always looked down upon and such I guess it would be making kind of sense where we come together and such so it is because I mean let's because think about it because what I saw on social media at one time where there was this Japanese there was these J Japanese people one one is the interviewer and the other one is the guy who was getting interviewed and he got dreads you would never think that a Chinese per a Japanese person sorry then again could be Chinese people but you would never think that a Japanese person would have dreads and the reason being because he's saying about how since he's been around with black people so much and he loves the black culture he wanted to get dreads so hey Said I'm a fiend you be thinking that I'm too uncool But you be looking like a snack, no Scooby-Doo Trust me, babes I could take you out to dance for a free base But if we talk about J, you a diamond on the rough And I'm gonna really find a tough to have you replace Ay. I need you, I need you, babes, when I'm calling Have you wait for days, you gon' leave a maze I'ma see that face in that altar I need it, I need it, I need you bad Let me switch your mind when I'm talking Only talk real nice If you ain't no damn girl, you won't blink twice saying it but contrast he gonna give you something this is what it's this is what it means to like always have like different versatility in your craft because if you don't have that as an artist then I'm sorry you may rap good but it's it's basically like what Russ is say I'm gonna keep on going back to Rustridge's song OP and such where he says you can yeah you rap so good but you can't make good music because let's be honest it's one thing to always have, and Russ Rufus has said it too, where, yeah, you can rap good and all, right? The bars can be there, the the similes, the punches, and all that, right? But if you can't be able to find a way how to make it into a song and such, like really try to make it be a hit with not only the bars there, the similes and whatnot, but also make it be like a song where you can see this getting played at a club, at a party, and such making people want to bump this in their car and whatnot then I'm sorry it's not gonna be that good the rapping may be good but it's not gonna have that vibe about where it's just making you want to get lit or making you think of a certain way and such that's how I look at it where if it can find a way how to combine the two then trust me it will be a good song no matter what because it will make me love the lyrics more and it would make me love the vibe of it of how it's just a f f great song to listen to on your time day. Need it, I need it, I need you bad. Let me switch your mind when I'm talking. Only talk real nice. If you ain't no dinger, you won't blink twice. She did her thing on those vocals and such, and I, and like I said, I could be wrong. It could be like a little Korean, like a little Korean. I hear like a little Korean vibe in it and such. Could be wrong. Y'all let me know. But either way, shout out to Contrast. You already know we always, like I said, we always gonna show him love because without him, 
we wouldn't have how AMVs are today and such where it's many and hell even many creative AMV artists that AMV creators out there like Jeep, Hideki, Reese and hell I just see like Aizen now beginning to be, do his and many other artists out there who can really bring like these nerdcore songs some life to it and such but either way if you made it to the end comment down below creativity and that makes me know you're a real humble squad member but it's been your boy humble ziggy signing out stay positive keep the vibes up check out my other reactions right here we on the road to 2k and the original link to this will be down in the description below let go